There is nothing wrong with your television set. Do not attempt to adjust the picture. Hey, what's up, nerds? Happy Murders at Karloff Manor pre-release day. I'm here to tell you what I think is the dumbest thing about this set. I know what's going to happen here. You're all going to be, no, oh, this guy's a negative doom and gloom because magic is turning around and it's positive now. And people are going to come out of the woodwork and say, God, you're a loser. So come out of the woodwork. The dumbest thing about the murders at Karloff Manor is surprisingly not the fact that this set <laughs> is a crossover with Clue because I've kind of felt like from the time this was announced, that sounded like a really, really, really lame idea. Yeah, not to mention they reveal who the murderer is before anybody even plays this set, which I think is not in the spirit of Clue at all, but whatever. And my family loves Clue. It's just magic and Clue. That's stupid. It's not the fact that we have yet another showcase treatment that is just you know, who cares? These little cards that look like you're zoomed in on somebody's face or whatever. I'll throw some up. It's not the fact that, yet again, we have serialized cards to artificially inflate the expected value in certain boxes with no guarantee of payoff. I think they've done the serialized card thing a little too much lately, and it's wearing out. I mean, we just had a set not even a month ago or a month ago, not that long ago, with serialized cards, and here we are again. It's not that. That's not the dumbest thing. The dumbest thing is not that whole like imbalance between expected value and what you get. Mm -hmm. It's not the dumbest thing is not the fact that now we're stuck with play boosters, which cost a little bit more than draft boosters, you know, because maybe the play boosters are going to be great. No. <laughs> The absolute dumbest thing about Murders at Karlov Manor is the fact that Wizards has finally made a set in the last four years that I will not touch. I am not opening a pack. I am not buying any of this product. And I like to open magic cards. Um, I've got a special kind of sickness that way. But they've finally done it. They continue with the craptacular digital art. And I'm sorry, artists, I know you put work into it, but it doesn't seem like that much in some cases. They continue with the serialized cards and all the special treatments and all the bullshit to get you to buy things that really aren't worth that much. I like opening magic cards. I like just opening them and looking at them. I don't even need to collect them. I kind of liked opening them and then just, you know, selling the singles. But there's no way I'm going to come close to getting my financial return back. I don't even care if I pay a little bit of a premium for the experience of opening them, but usually I could get most of my money back selling them. So it was like, it was fun to open and look at them. I'll keep a few cards here and there, and then I can sell the rest. There ain't no way I'm getting my money back anymore. Ravnica Remastered was the same way. This is going to be the same way. This is the way of the future. They're charging so much and what I'm getting, I don't give a shit about serialized cards. And if you take that value out, it's just not fair. And I just don't care right now. That's the dumbest thing Wizards of the Coast has done with this set. They've made people like me who, yeah, I don't spend a ridiculous amount of money on magic cards, but, you know, I, I do. I trade my time for magic cards, and I don't even want to touch it. I'm looking at Thunder Junction going, I don't want to touch that shit either. They might get me back this summer, but I don't know. And that feels like the dumbest thing right now. I feel like they've taken something precious and they're just squeezing all the blood out of it. Feel free to disagree because I like to hear other opinions. But man, if you do disagree, please listen to the whole video. <laughs> okay, that's all I ask. If you disagree with me, make sure you know what you're disagreeing with. I just don't have any passion for magic right now. And that's the dumbest thing about this set. Stay awesome out there. You guys are great. Thanks for your support as I find my way through the wilderness. <laughs> Have a great weekend. We'll see you soon. I love you guys, you know.